I went down there to tell my side of the story and then to get everything turned around and get charged with first degree murder, it hurt. Melvin, you want to go home? Yeah. What happened at the motel? Here in Detroit, a city of war. On the city's west side, a 150 block area is off limits to everybody. This is no man's land. Leading up to the 1967 rebellion, there were a number of problems and concerns that had existed for a number of years. This was a city that, at that point, had grown to nearly 40% African American, and yet had a police force that was 95% white. It was like a powder keg all over the city. Tension was just building up in the people, and they were just ready to explode. The Algiers Motel, uh, it's a real American tragedy. One of the most important aspects of preparing this movie was to spend time with the people who actually lived this incident. My marching orders were to find as many of the principals as I could that could tell us uh, something about their perspective on, on what happened. Chest fire, chest fire, near the Algiers Motel. A fellow police officer said to me, Ike, did you hear about what happened at, at the Algiers? Some white officer shot and killed some young black guys. I was inside when the Algiers incident broke out. And we were just sitting there talking. We had music on, and uh, a bullet went right past my head from outside. You don't talk about this to anyone ever. You understand? There will be those who will say no, but the reality is it has to be shown so people know. <laughs> 